A very pleasant good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. It is with deepest regrets I have to announce the passing of Dr. D.K. Duncan, former government minister of the People's National Party. Former Jamaica government minister, Dr. D.K. Duncan, has passed away. Dr. D.K. Duncan had a few days ago tested positive for COVID-19 and was admitted in an hospital. According to the statement released by his family, D.K. Duncan died today. He was 80 years old. A statement from his family at the time said that after experiencing some sign of sinusitis, and tiredness, out of an abundance of caution, Dr. Duncan did a COVID-19 test and the results indicated that he was positive. Dr. Donald Keith Duncan, more popularly known as DK, was a former member of parliament for the Anova Eastern constituency. He was also the regional chairman for the People's National Party, Region 6. Dr. DK Duncan, is a dentist by profession and currently operates a private practice in Kingston. His foray into politics began in 1966 when he was a PNP campaigning manager in the Southwestern St. Anne local government elections. He later served as PNP campaign manager for various candidates in general elections of 1967 and 1972. Duncan was appointed Minister of National Mobilization and Human Resource in 1977. He is the father of Government Senator Imani Duncan Price. He is married to former First Lady Beverly Anderson Manley, now Beverly Anderson Duncan. Born in 1935 in Brownstown, Jamaica, he attended McGill University in Canada where he obtained a degree in dentistry. He was active in the revolutionary Black Power movement in the late 1960s and early 1970s in the Brownstown area. In April 1969, Duncan and his then wife Joan were arrested and found guilty of violating secret. Throughout his public life, but especially in the past several years, P.K. Duncan has been a key leader of the PNP moderate faction. Opposition leader Dr. Peter Phillips said on social media that he was a true revolutionary. He was a faithful soldier and a stalwart for the cause of the people. He dedicated his life to the liberation struggle. He kept the red flag flying high despite the barriers and setback, Dr. Phillips said. I take this opportunity to express sincere condolences to his wife Beverly his children and grandchildren as we hold them dearly in our thoughts and prayers during this period of bereavement he will forever be in our hearts i have to say also from the core of my heart i want to express my sincere condolences to the duncan's family for losing a father a husband a brother an uncle and a true revolutionary. D.K. Duncan, D.K. as he was affectionately called, will be remembered as one of the true revolutionary in this time. Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to bring this to your attention because a lot of people are not taking the COVID-19 virus seriously. A lot of people are saying it's a hoax. A lot of people are saying this and a lot of people are saying that. Let's go to the record to see what has been happening with COVID-19 in Jamaica since September 1st. Let's take a listen. This is very, very important and also very alarming. Since September 1st, the COVID-19 cases have been riding steadily. As of the 1st of September, we had 102 cases. September 2nd, 224 cases September 3rd 139 cases September 4th 74 cases September 5th 
68 cases. September 6th, 60 cases. September 7th, 80 cases. September 8th, 140 cases. September 9th, 114 cases. September 10th, 74 cases. September 11th, 112 cases. September 12th, 112 cases. September 13, 148 cases. September 14, 162 cases. September 15, 109 cases. September 16, 122 cases. We're not aware of the facts of today's count in regards to the cases reported. If these figures are fictitious, if these figures are a hoax, I am still taking the necessary precaution. I am still following the necessary protocols because you never know. You never know. We know something is out there. We know something is causing the deaths of our elderly and even young people as well. Jamaica, I'm appealing to you to think seriously. This pandemic is here for the long haul. We need to practice the necessary protocols. Wear a mask while you're out in the public. Practice social or physical distancing. And of course, sanitize or wash your hand properly after you touch any surface because we don't know where this virus might be lurking. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Please like, share, and make a comment. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, now is the time to do so. Thank you so much for watching and have a safe day. Thank you.